Sunday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Golden Final Spin Cafe. I really didn't know where to start off this episode with because there's so much going on in the world right now with uh, the coronavirus and everything shutting down. And it's, it, it's, it's, it's scary and uh, the unknown. But we hope that everyone in the final community is safe and taking care of your family and uh, just take this time to relax and uh, withdraw yourself. Uh, they're, what are they saying, social distancing from groups and stuff like that because we don't know who has the fires and right now we don't know a cure for it. But so in saying that, Record Store Day is not uh, cancelled, it's postponed. And uh, I received an email from them, and I will read off the email what they had to say in case anyone is not familiar with Record Store Day and that it was postponed. So I'll go ahead and read that. Record Store Day is worldwide and celebrates a record store's place in the community. As members of those communities, we want everyone to be safe, healthy, and feel comfortable coming to the party. Record Store Day 2020 is moving to June 20th. We think it's the best move we can make given all we know and don't know about what's going on around us. The safety and good health of everyone who makes up Record Store Day, the customers, the staff, and the musicians who come to the party is super important to us because we want to celebrate with you for many Record Store Days to come. So thank you to them for postponing it. I mean, come on, we waited a year for Record Store Day. We had the Black Friday uh, one that is kind of like, eh, it's okay, whatever, dude. we don't really need it. But April is usually the big main Record Store Day. And I'm glad that they postponed it and moved it ahead so that we can all be safe and, and enjoy going to these, uh, these kind of things. So that also brings us to uh, record shows. There's a lot of record shows right around this time of the year, and they are canceling uh, or postponing. And so, make sure if you're gonna, uh, if you know that there's a record show coming up, make sure that you check with whoever's organizing that to see if it's still going. And if it's still going, I don't think it's advisable. I don't. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, money isn't everything. Health is in the and the family that you're around, people that you're around is most important. So uh, I wouldn't even go to them. I wouldn't even go to them. I'm not saying isolate yourself from the world. I mean, but if you don't need to be out there, don't be out there. So far, this is kind of a depressing video, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah, it, it, it is. But I'm going to show three records. I'm going to show three records. Look, I'm showcasing these in the background. These, these are Matt Mingo Wood. Uh, I showed those in some other videos that I did. Very proud of them. Matt Mingo Wood got inducted into the uh, Halifax Casino uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a few months back. I think it was a couple months back. And I got to see him in concert at the Union Street Cafe uh, before he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and I got them all signed and I recently picked up this one here but it's not signed this is his very first one and I showed that in another episode the three albums I'm going to show you Becky I think you're going to like this one you haven't even seen this one this is gold and platinum volume four check out the artists that are on this we got Bruce Springsteen. Now, the, I'm used to having country mixes, and it, and I don't see these kind of mixes very often with these popular artists. The story behind this album, this album was for charity. I don't know if all the funds went to it, but it was for the help of uh, the T.J. Martell Foundation for Leukemia, Cancer, and AIDS Research. It has a lot of amazing artists on here. 
I don't hardly ever see Michael Jackson on albums like this with other artists and stuff. Michael Jackson's on here singing I Just Can't Stop Loving You. That's a good song. And then we got Modern Woman, Billy Joel. Mm. And we got Grateful Dead, Touch of Grey. Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now by Starship. But we got Bruce Willis on here, who isn't normally a singer, from his Respect Yourself. Uh, I actually have that album in my collection. And Beastie Boys are on this. Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Rights. And lots of other artists as well on here. This is number four. And uh, I'd like to try to hunt down. You can have a look there if you want. Hunt down the other three. Up next we have a Greatest Hits. This is the second Greatest Hits that was put up by the Irish band U2 back in 2002. It was her second time that they ever did one of these. But this is a remaster version put out in 2018. It's a gatefold. If anyone remembers back in 2002 when they brought it out, at the same time they dropped a CD version of B-side stuff. Do you know what B-side means? B-side is stuff that doesn't make it to the studio album. Oh, I know what you mean. Right? Yeah. And a lot, there's people out there that collect B-side records. They're looking for those gems, the things that weren't on the studio albums. So in 2002, U2 brought out a CD of this, but also at the same time, a B-sides album came out as well. But this is, like I said, this is the 2018 remastered album, double album that they put out. Really cool, I was happy to see that. I never seen this before. I never seen it when it originally came out on CD. This is a band from Calgary. It's a garage rock and roll band. To me, they sounded a lot like Green Day. It had uh, the riffs and the guitar, electric guitar playing. It sounded like Green Day, but also had a uh, Jack White feel to it from the White Stripes and a little bit a touch of Joan Jett. That's a huge smash of things and those are some big names. This is Misha and the Spanks out of Calgary, Canada and this, this is their first album that they put out from 2011 and it's called Gods of Love. I pulled this out. I, I really like the jacket uh, the back told me that it must be something relatively new just by the design of it. And I never heard of Transistor 66. That was the first label that they were put onto. Transistor 66 is out of Winnipeg, but later after this came out, their next two albums, they switched over to a local label, which was called Saved by Final. Another reason why I knew that this album was relatively new is because they were promoting herself on this album here with myspace.com. And then it has their address there. So that was as soon as I seen MySpace, I was like, this can't be really that old. Because that's, I don't know how old MySpace is. MySpace died back in, somebody correct me, but it was either 2011 or 2008. Really? Yeah, it was sometime in the 2000. Actually, no, I don't even think it was that. Sometime in the 2000s, MySpace died out. I thought it was still existing. No, nobody uses it. Facebook replaced MySpace. <laughs> Jesus fart. No, it's my stupid chair. Yeah. <laughs> You ask me every episode. No. If anybody hears that, okay, so on my chair where my feet go, there's like this metal thing that always pops up and my feet will just snap it down. No, okay, so MySpace was back in the 2000s-ish and it came before Facebook and it was around still when Facebook was starting to come out and then all of a sudden everybody switched over to Facebook and my, MySpace just died out. Okay, because Facebook came out, I believe, in 2002, around that time. They were on the same, like, they are out at the same time. This but... one, this came out in 2011, so MySpace was still around. Yeah, it was still there. Um, I don't know how long it was, but I know Facebook replaced it eventually. That is 
cool information. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking Spotify. No. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy that I thought that it was something new. It was relatively new, and I had to pick it up. So, but anything .com on it, I guess, would tell me that it was something. .com's been around out. forever. Oh yes, crappers. <laughs> The other two were brought out by uh, Saved by Final, and it was called Girls Like Wolves, came out in 2013. Uh, I know nothing about that album, and I only know about this album because I just got it today, but their 2018 album, uh, Girls, 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 is pretty popular. It got well known across the world. Ah, uh, crap, what a day. Okay. Sorry. Uh, back, to, back to this. <coughs> oh, Lord of Place. People have been criticizing me saying I have to start practicing more before these videos, man. All right. But this is real, people. This is real. This is how I am. I do things on the fly. So this next part I'm going to be reading. All right. Uh... Because I just discovered this band today, okay? <laughs> and I gotta have this video up for you today as you're watching it, all right? All right, best known for their 2018 release, Girls, 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 which was produced by Danny Ferrant of UK punk legends, The Buzzcocks. Listen, trust me. This album was amazing. I was really excited, uh, seriously, when uh, the store owner put on YouTube and I was able to listen to it. And those three artists came and Jack White came into my mind. And, you know, a little bit of Joan Jett. But tell you the truth, I hate to say this because people are probably going to get pissed off. But I think she sounds better than Joan Jett. I knew you were going there. I, I really do. I think she sounds better than Joan Jett. And, man, like... Check them out. Check them out. What's that other uh, platform that people stream music on? YouTube, Spotify, um, Amazon Prime Music, or Amazon Music, whatever you want to call it. You got Google Play, the radio. You haven't hit it yet. What? You haven't hit it yet. Spotify. I said Spotify. All right. Check them out on Spotify or something. Actually, there's, they have a lot of videos. Seriously, they have a lot of videos uh, on YouTube. So, Misha and the Spanx. Check them out. Trust me, you won't regret it. I think this is going to take care of for today's episode. Next week, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to practice. I am! <laughs> I believe you! <laughs> I, I, I'm going to practice. I'm going to make sure that I got my shit in order. And I really hope that uh, this virus goes away really soon. It's And, and uh, my heart goes out to everyone that has been affected with this. We see a lot of uh, memes. I think that's what you call them. Yeah. You said it right the first time. That's it, right? Yeah. You see a lot of memes on Facebook, jokes, and they're all coming from people that aren't aren't affected by it. Yeah. And uh, to me, it's a little disgusting. It really mm -hmm. is, folks. This is a real situation. It's something that uh, should be taken very uh, serious. And uh, you know, you don't even know if you're going back to school. Yeah. Right now. Um... There's so many provinces in Canada that after March break, there's two weeks extension because they're closing it off to be safe. And right now, my school, well, in Nova Scotia, they haven't decided if they're doing that yet. Yeah, because so Nova Scotia has, at the time of this video that you guys are watching, are one of the lucky ones. We have not had one case of it at all, but the rest of the provinces all across Canada have had cases. I'm not sure about the Northwest Territories, but... Uh, yeah, so we're going to let you guys go. Thank you for tuning in to Golden Final Spin Cafe. Stay safe. Keep your distance. Do what the authorities tell you to do, uh, health authorities. 
and we will see you next Sunday. Play some records in this downtime and think about all those that are affected around the world. Remember, keep spinning.